much fun. It's an Irish American folk song. When Ireland, Ireland was faced with famine, many people immigrated to the United States, and one of the readily available jobs for Irish immigrants at the time was building our vast railway system. And this song has many storytelling verses and variations, <coughs> and this piece is an arrangement of one of those variations by two longtime staff members of the Indianapolis Children's Choir, who happen to be wonderful writers of music for young voices. This is Pat Works on the Railway. semester. So we have another Irish um, song in the program this semester with, with a very different sound. There are many little tunes written in Ireland about their little fishing boats of old and this is one of them. We really loved learning this piece and it was very uh, challenging because it's sung in Gaelic which is the second language of Ireland, um, second to English that is. And I think this piece is so beautiful and at some point um, when we had a lot of weather delays, I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to keep it because we'd missed so much um, practice. And the kids said, no, no, we can't. We have to sing it. So I hope you think it's as beautiful as, as we do and as they do. Thank you. This is Oro Mobile.
want to honor some students. Um, these students will be moving on next year to the middle school, and this will be their last year in Express Choir with me. Well, my last year, really, with them, period. So first, we want to recognize those that joined Express Choir for the first time this year, and we're really glad that they did. We'll have them come down first. And then we also want to recognize those students that joined Express Choir in fourth grade, and they returned for a second year. And we want to um, recognize that decision, as well as the contribution they've all made to this uh, group this year. So Mrs. Collins is going to come help me with that at this time. And when we call your name, you can come down and receive a flower. All right, our first one-year member is Miss Piper Brown. So let's give them one more round of applause.
Something else that is really makes this group possible is the music boosters. They're kind of the financial piece that help us to be able to provide these wonderful opportunities for these kids. So if you'd like to get involved or help support them or support us in any way, you can find more information about them in the back of your program. We always are looking for more parents to get involved and help with the, um, the growth of the music program here at, um, in our schools. And also a couple, I want to read this because I don't want to forget anyone. I wanted to thank um, Melissa Norris for all that she does. That's our fabulous accompanist because she does so much. <laughs> gets to see and we just really wouldn't be able to do what we do without her help. She does a wonderful job. And of course, thank you to Mr. Foster, to Mrs. Collins. Um, we've had a lot of good technical support from my husband in the back and from Miss Sutton and they've been really great. So thank you. And once again, yeah, you can clap for them. <laughs> and of course, we would not be here if it wasn't for the students behind us. So give them a round of applause for they with a lot of um, challenges that we've had to overcome. Our last piece is an arrangement of a Quaker song, How Can I Keep From Singing? 